honestly don't even know where to begin, people. I really don't. I come on here, I collect my thoughts throughout the evening, I take my notes down, just so that I have some bullet points to talk about whatever I want to talk about when I come on here. I have nothing. I have nothing. I have thoughts, but the words don't want to come out of my mouth, man. I, I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless as a WWE fan. Maybe I should go watch TNA regularly and say, fuck you, WWE. Because that's all they regularly do on a monthly basis to us fans. Fuck you. Fuck you. And the F-bomb is going to be dropped a lot in this review. Okay? It's going to be dropped a lot. If you got kids, if you got the wife listening, tell her to go into the kitchen and make you a sandwich, man. Really. Seriously. I'm sure I got some females out there listening to me, but... It's going to be a lot of cursing, there's going to be a lot of ranting in this fucking video. So I hope you guys are ready. I don't know what, I don't even know where to begin. I don't. I don't. You guys have been watching me for how long now? How long have you been watching me? How long have I been on here talking about WWE? How long have I been telling you guys my point of view? Every time I come on here, every time I sit behind this microphone, I give it to you the way you deserve as fans, as supporters, as a member of my fucking group here on YouTube, as a fucking loyal subscriber. I give you people what you want. No sugarcoating it. No fucking little cherry on top of the whipped cream, man. I give it to you fucking right out of the oven. Hot! It's the way I do it. It's the way I do it. and That's the way you deserve it, okay? WWE should take a fucking lesson. They should take a lesson from me. You guys have been watching me for how fucking long now? What have I been saying for the last five months? What have I been saying? Roman Reigns cannot win the Royal Rumble. It is not his time. He fucking sucks. And I even came on here this week. I came on here this week. With behind the mic. And I know I'm going to have a lot of people watching me and listening to me right now. If you missed it, go check the link in the description. And you'll find out this time what I said. It's clear as fucking day. I said it in the video. If you have Roman Reigns win the Royal Rumble in Philadelphia. It's going to be worse than Batista. WWE. I got to... I got to... I gotta give him. I gotta give him a round of applause. I gotta give the fans of Philadelphia a round of applause. I gotta give everybody sitting in that arena a round of applause. They did their job, and I couldn't be more proud of the city of Philadelphia. I fucking hate the Phillies. I hate the Flyers. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. This is coming from a fucking Brave fan in the National League East. You know I don't like the Phillies. But you people out there, man, you people who reside in Philadelphia, man, I fucking love you. I absolutely fucking love you. You did your job right down to the fucking last fucking seat. Great. You gave it to WWE the way that they fucking deserve to have it, man. Slap right across the face with the fucking utter filth and garbage that they fucking delivered to us tonight on pay-per-view. On the WWE Network. I feel sorry for whoever bought this shit on pay-per-view that you had to sit through this fucking shit, man. Absolutely fucking Dreadful. This is the worst Royal Rumble out of 28 fucking Royal Rumbles that I had the pleasure of watching. I watched every fucking one of them. This one tops them all as the worst of all time. I don't know how WWE, I think WWE honestly sat down today and throughout the fucking five weeks of this pay-per-view build, they sat down and their main thing was, you know what, Vince? You know what, Paul? You know what, Stephanie? How can we top last year's fucking disaster? That was what they went off on, man. That was the blueprint for these guys to sit down in the boardroom and come up. You know what? We fucked up with Batista last year. How can we top that? WWE passed this test with flying colors, man. I never seen such bullshit in my entire fucking life. I'm speechless. 
Some of you actually tweeted me, I would love, I would pay, I would fucking die to see JD's reaction when Daniel Bryan got eliminated. I was shocked. It was like me playing Call of Duty. It was like me playing Call of Duty, man. I was sitting there as if I was killed by a fucking sniper on the rooftop, laying prone with a ghillie suit on, man. Are you fucking kidding me? That entire moment, that entire moment, whether you fucking love him or you hate him, that entire moment when Daniel Bryan was eliminated, and yes, he was eliminated, my guy, my choice, my overwhelming choice, the most logical choice, the number one choice by the people, was eliminated. He was eliminated by Bray Wyatt. I don't have a problem about how he was eliminated. I don't. I don't, I don't have a problem about who he was eliminated by. WWE, with more than fucking 75% of the Rumble match left, eliminated the one man people wanted to see win it the most. As soon as Daniel Bryan's feet hit the fucking ground, the air, uh, the air in that arena was sucked out of that fucking place like a fucking huge vacuum. And everyone in that arena fucking suffocated. Not one person in that arena when Brian was fucking eliminated gave a shit about whatever else happened the rest of the night. It was over. It was over for you. It was over for me. Everyone wanted to fucking get up and walk out. The only reason why they didn't is because they spent so much money already getting to this point of the show. WWE made, this is worse than Batista. I said it once, I'm going to say it. This is worse than Batista. Does WWE even care about their fucking audience? Some of you fucking people on Twitter saying, JD, WWE has a more grander scheme. What scheme? What scheme do they have? They have no plan here. WWE doesn't give a fuck about anybody watching their show. They're set in their ways. They want us to adore Roman Reigns, the fucking corporate manufactured superstar. It's not the way things go in modern day WWE, man. It's not the way things go. Why is Daniel Bryan so popular? Because he's not manufactured. Why is Dolph Ziggler so popular? Because he's not manufactured. Why is CM Punk still chanted every fucking arena around the WWE United States? Because he's not manufactured. It's not rocket science. He's not a Steve Austin. He's not a rock. Those were manufactured guys. Those were WWE created guys. But what they did was they took what WWE created them and said, you know what, WWE, fuck you. I'm going out there and I'm doing what I want. And they went against the grain and they went against the corporate bullshit that WWE is now and they gave us something of fucking substance and became two of the greatest of all time. WWE fucked this Royal Rumble, this WrestleMania season to the point where this viewer doesn't care about anything WrestleMania-wise this year. I'm done. I'm done. I was going to come on here, and as soon as Daniel Bryan got eliminated, you knew I was going to come on here and shred this fucking pay-per-view apart. Absolutely dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. And everyone is saying, you know what? Roman Reigns is going to win it. Roman Reigns is going to win the WWE title. Ha, 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 ha. Daniel Bryan's not there, man. Good. I'm glad he's not there. You want this? This is what you want? This is what you want? You're okay with this decision? You want to know how much of a failed fucking show WWE had tonight? That they had a resort to fucking pure desperation to get The Rock into the Royal Rumble. He comes out, and even The Rock couldn't save that closing segment of that match. The over-fucking-abundance of booze fucking went right through The Rock, and he couldn't overcome it. That's how much people did not want Roman Reigns to win this Royal Rumble. People were chanting for Rusev. They were chanting, we want Rusev. If you are a man with a fucking brain in your head, 
you would see that this is fucking illogical. You built Rusev up to be a monster fucking heel, the anti-American who hates everything that this country has to offer, and we're in the fucking city of Philadelphia, the home of fucking the Liberty Bell and the fucking historical presence that Philadelphia has, and these people are chanting, we want Rusev? Are you fucking out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? I don't, I don't, I don't understand the fucking logic that I'm, I'm fucking seeing on this pay-per-view. I really don't. I really don't. Curtis Axel, another one. Huge loophole. My brother was saying it throughout the entire pay-per-view, man. As soon as he seen Axel not come back to the ring after he was introduced with his theme music, and Eric Rowan took his spot, my brother Frank and my brother Mike were saying, where's Curtis Axel? He was never in the match. He never got a shot. He never got eliminated. This is a huge loophole. WWE logic. You don't think people are smart enough to realize what happened to Curtis Axel? Are you out of your fucking mind? Big Show and Kane. You have those two guys in the final four. Need I say more? Need I say... Who scripted this fucking garbage? Who scripted this shit? I can come up with... I swear to God, I, 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 I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can sit in front of my fucking television and play WWE 2K15 with a fucking plastic controller in my hand and book the fucking Royal Rumble better than what WWE gave us tonight, absolutely, who comes up with Big Show and Kane as the final four, two of the guys in the final four, with Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose, again, WWE, I don't understand that they gave us a Royal Rumble. They gave us a fucking possible epic moment that they could have had with Daniel Bryan, and they fucked it up. As soon as he was eliminated, the entire match was over. After that instance, WWE never gave us an opportunity to fucking sink our teeth into something, man. No fucking unpredictability factor at all. As soon as Bryan was gone, boom. There was nobody else in that match that you knew was going on to WrestleMania to fight Brock Lesnar. The fact that Bray Wyatt and Dolph Ziggler got eliminated in the way that they did, my brothers and I were looking at each other laughing at how fucking dreadful and pathetic it was. This pay-per-view, this Royal Rumble will go down as one of the worst pay-per-views in WWE history and by far, leaps and bounds, the worst Royal Rumble of all time. WWE has now made Roman Reigns the most hated man in WWE. The tides have turned. You have a monster in Brock Lesnar, which I'll get to in a second. You have a monster in Brock Lesnar now, who's supposed to, be, who's supposedly supposed to be the biggest seal in the company. You're going to go up against Roman Reigns, who's now the most hated man in WWE for something that WWE knew was coming, and they just didn't care. They just didn't care. I don't believe you have all those brains and all those minds who have been in the business for so long they couldn't realize that this was going to happen so much that they had to go get the rock and in sheer desperation that blew up in their fucking face nobody in that arena cared about anything that was going on after daniel bryan got eliminated i don't give a shit who you are bryan should have won the royal rumble the best thing about the royal rumble is that bubba ray came back and did what he did for fucking five minutes man i was and WWE even fucked that up WWE even fucked that up. They did the whole fucking Dudley Boy skit with R Truth and where was Devon? There had to be some type of fucking, uh, you know, falling out between WWE and Devon that they couldn't get him on the show, so they had to fucking substitute him for R Truth. It would have been great if Bubba Ray and Devon were both in the ring at the same time to battle the Wyatt family two on two. That would have been an epic moment, but WWE, like I said, fucked that up. What happened to the Royal Rumbles of old, man? Where the Royal Rumble was really a Royal Rumble. You had multiple WWF, ch WWF champions in the match to give you one, two, three, four, five, seven winners. Seven potential winners. WWE doesn't have that opportunity nowadays because they don't build up any other fucking superstar except for the fucking ones that they want up in the corporate office, man. 
This company is absolutely fucking dreadful, and I wouldn't be surprised if Vince McMahon wants to see this company go down in a ball of fucking flames, man. He needs to be removed. I don't give a shit. I would sign a fucking petition to take Vince McMahon out of fucking office, man. Whoever is running that company and is making the fucking decisions should be fucking released and let go of their duties immediately after this fucking travesty. I swear to God, I was praying that the entire show in Philadelphia was going to be fucking rioted. I, I wanted Philadelphia to fucking burn the building down. Monday night raw tomorrow night if it if it takes place with this snowstorm going on and i'm fucking shooting shit out of my mouth at a fucking 100 miles an hour man i'm fucking pissed i'm absolutely fucking pissed i hope on monday night raw wwe has everything fucking coming to them man roman reigns and this one and that one i hope wherever the fuck they're taking place i think it's in connecticut i hope they fucking rip that show to shreds man i swear to god WWE should be absolutely fucking ashamed to call themselves a fucking wrestling promotion, man. Absolutely one of the worst fucking shows I ever seen in my 28 fucking years watching WWE. I've never been more embarrassed to be a WWE fan. And this is the review you guys wanted. You want you wanted me to tear this show to shreds. I'm fucking going above that and beyond. What happened to the Royal Rumble, man, of old, where there was actually fucking men in the ring? There was no point until the last fucking 10 minutes of that match where there was more than six guys in that ring. Bray Wyatt received the diesel treatment where he was in the ring all by himself for fucking 15 minutes, man. That's not a Royal Rumble. That's been done over and over again, man. When Austin did it, when Diesel did it, that was special. When they did it, it was special and it was fucking new. And it was like, holy shit, this guy could fucking go through the entire roster in one, one fucking blow. I'm not supposed to believe Bray Wyatt can do that, man, even though he's a fucking beast. It's been done already, and we don't need to see the same skit and the same scripted bullshit in a Royal Rumble year in and year out. The Royal Rumble should be the easiest fucking match to book. From the winner to what happens in the match to the fucking wrestler order. What happened to booking the Royal Rumble, man? Why is it so difficult that WWE has given us two of the worst fucking Rumbles ever back to back? Why? Why? I don't understand that a fucking nobody like me can book the fucking Royal Rumble better than anyone on WWE's payroll right now. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I'm so fucking disgusted as a WWE fan. I don't even want to continue this fucking review because that's how much this pay-per-view fucking sucked. I fucking can't stand them right now. And yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue watching. I'm going to continue watching like, Smoke, like Smokey Dog says. All right, like Smokey Dog says, you can bitch and complain all you want. You'll be there watching Monday Night Raw tomorrow. Yeah, of course I will be. Of course I will be, but I can voice my fucking opinion. I know what happened tonight on the show was the wrong choice. I know what WWE did completely fucking blew up in their face. And I'm fucking happy that it did. I'm happy that it did. I'm happy that it did. This show was fucking completely just annihilated when, when Daniel Bryan was eliminated. That's it. That's it. The truth be told. When Brian was gone, it was over. Nobody in that fucking crowd gave a shit. I feel sorry for whoever bought a fucking ticket to sit fucking ringside for that shit. When Brian is now eliminated, right? Brian was eliminated in the fashion that he was. How is Brian going to come back from that, man? Why even bring him back at all? The shit that he said on Monday Night Raw, the epic promo that he did. I'm not having my career go out like that. Really? You should have stayed on. You should You should have stayed on the fucking DL, man. Really? If WWE was going to bring you back to fucking have you do that, I would have stayed on the fucking DL. Really? Why even put him through that? Why script that promo for him? Why have him come out and say that shit and get the crowd all excited? Why? To do that to him. That's what the WWE thinks of its fans. That, you know, my brother said it best again. My brother, go to my fucking uh, off the script video today with The Rock. When I, where I explained The Rock is going to be at the Royal Rumble. He said it in the comment section. I swear to God. I swear, I swear on everything. He said The Rock is going to be back because Roman Reigns is going to win the Royal Rumble. And he's going to be there to congratulate him. He said it earlier this morning. And what, what do you think happened? That's exactly what fucking happened. That's exactly what fucking happened. Why bring Daniel Bryan back? How's Daniel Bryan going to come back for this? That's like... And he even said it tonight. We all agreed. Daniel Bryan being eliminated so fast in the Royal Rumble is just like eliminating Hulk Hogan... Bret Hart, uh, Randy Savage, Shawn Michaels in their prime from a Royal Rumble midway through. Suck the life out of the fucking, uh, out, of the, out of the crowd and out of the audience. Would you do that to those guys back in the day? You got Daniel Bryan, the face of the fucking company, the most popular wrestler in the industry right now. That's how you're treating him. 
That's what I got to say to you, WWE. That's what I got to say about you. I don't give a shit if I'm not coming off professional. I don't give a shit who's listening to me, who's watching me. This is the wrong fucking choice. This is what you wanted. Now you're WrestleMania, right? Whoever goes to WrestleMania is going to sit through Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, right? After what Brock Lesnar did tonight to, uh, to Seth Rollins and John Cena, can you possibly, and I'll say this a fucking again for the umpteenth time, can you see Brock Lesnar losing to Roman Reigns? Oh, his ribs are hurt. His ribs are hurt. That's going to be your fucking focus point at WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar is going to fucking be limping around with broken ribs or bruised ribs until WrestleMania. Then Roman Reigns is going to give him a spear, one, two, three, and that's how Roman Reigns is going to slay the fucking beast before he goes back to UFC. Good. I hope Brock Lesnar goes back to UFC because he doesn't have to sit through this fucking bullshit anymore. Absolutely fucking terrible. I don't give a shit how great that triple threat match was tonight. I don't give a shit if it was the greatest triple threat match of all time, which it was. The match was abso absolutely astonishing. It was fucking fantastic. I don't give a shit if that match was a fucking 10 out of 10, a five-star classic. I don't care. This Royal Rumble gets a fucking 1 out of 10, just based off what those men did. Everything else, that's what I think about the Royal Rumble. That triple threat match was probably will probably go down as match of the year. I don't see WWE having anything better than that this year unless you give us Rollins versus Bryan for the belt or something with Seth Rollins involved because Seth Rollins is a fucking monster. This guy is the legit future of the company. Fuck Roman Reigns. I don't know how anyone can back Roman Reigns as WWE champion after what Seth Rollins did in that match tonight. How can you side with Roman Reigns and say he is the face of the company, the number one guy in the company, the number one guy to come from the shield? After what Seth Rollins did in that match, man. I, 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 th th that match was so great, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. And Lesnar, fucking being stretched out, gets off the stretcher and fucking just completely destroys everybody. I don't even know where to begin with the fucking match, man. I really don't. Because I'm so hopped up on fucking Daniel Bryan being eliminated and, and Roman Reigns winning the Royal Rumble. Seth Rollins dove off the top rope through the fucking announce table right through Brock Lesnar. John Cena gave us nothing but AAs. Imagine if John Cena wasn't in the fucking match, what the match with Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar would have been like. That's what everybody was telling me on Twitter, and I would have to agree with them. John Cena kind of hampered that match down, even though, even though it was still a phenomenal match. Can you imagine what Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar would have done one-on-one? -on -one? I thought Seth Rollins was going to win the title. I honestly did a few on a few instances, but Brock Lesnar won clean. And gave me hope that, you know what, maybe WWE will finally go with Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar. No, that didn't happen. Lesnar won the title, won the fucking match, retains the title rather. And we got uh, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar book, man. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to end it here because honestly, I, whatever else I say will be meaningless to everybody. Whatever else I say will be fucking meaningless, man. I can't even give you an accurate fucking detailed description of what happened in that fucking match. Honestly, honestly, I can't because of what happened with the Royal Rumble. Everything that happened before that Rumble match, before Roman Reigns won the Royal Rumble, is absolutely fucking meaningless. It is meaningless. It means nothing to nobody. Everything else was fucking garbage. Garbage. The Usos and Mizdow versus Sandow. Great. Fucking garbage. The Divas, total Divas trash. Nobody fucking cares. The Ascension beat the New Age Outlaws. Like, we didn't know that was going to happen. This pay-per-view was absolutely fucking dreadful. If you guys want to go rewatch it on the WWE Network, the only thing you should be concerned about is to see how great Seth, Vons ha uh, Seth Rollins has come from a fucking performer down in NXT all the way up to where he is now in the WWE. The match and the story was absolutely fucking brilliant to the point where Seth Rollins and John Cena had one agenda and that was to take out the beast and they made it quite evident. You could see the fucking panic and the frustration and the desire just to take out Brock Lesnar first and take out the most formidable threat in that match. This is why Seth Rollins is going to be number one. Everything regarding that match was fucking down to the point brilliant and the reason why I love professional wrestling man I'm not even going to say I love WWE anymore man I love professional wrestling when it's scripted and it's given to us fans in that manner great the story the match the brutality the physicality the fucking the the, the intensity the need to take out 
the fucking biggest dog in the yard in Brock Lesnar just so that you have a fucking surviving chance to win that title. That's what Seth Rollins and John, and John Cena showed. John Cena wasn't all that great in the match. Well, like I said, all he did was AAs, but the story itself is where it's at. And you guys got to really watch it because I'm not doing the match any justice whatsoever. You guys got to go back and watch it. If there's one thing you rewatch on this pay-per-view is that match. Believe me. Believe me. Other than that, this review is wrapping up. I'm done. Royal Rumble 2015. All the promise in the world. WWE had it right in their fucking hands, man. Staring them right in the face. This is what needed to be done. I laid it out for you. I gave you video after video, week after week, month after month about what you had to do. And WWE did the fucking complete opposite. And it blew up in their fucking face. And I'm fucking thrilled about how bad it came off. I hope to God they fucking look themselves in the mirror tonight and say, you know what? We fucked up. But I know they won't. They think they're right. Meanwhile, they got an entire fucking WWE universe who's fucking pissed off and waiting for Monday Night Raw to fucking express their displeasure with what's going on right now. Royal Rumble 2015, the worst Royal Rumble of all time. They topped last year by fucking leaps and bounds, man. This is my review. I'm fucking done. I'm going to sleep. Monday Night Raw will surely be something to watch for the simple fact that Roman Reigns is going to get all the fucking hate in the entire world. And I'm glad. I'm glad he fucking deserves it. No way he should have won the Royal Rumble, man. Daniel Bryan was the clear-cut winner. Daniel Bryan should have won it. And WWE fucked up for a second year in a row, man. They got nobody to blame but themselves. This is JD. This is my review. This is a frustrated WWE fan. I will be back with you guys on Tuesday for a Monday Night Raw review. We're supposed to be getting snow in the Northeast. Be safe. Go out and get what you need. Stay grounded. Stay home. I know I am. I'm going to be working on a lot of shit for you guys, so thank you very much. If you missed any one of my WWE videos this week, uh, off the script, behind the mic, everything you guys need is linked down below. If you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button, man. What the fuck are you waiting for? And please, follow me on Twitter at JDFMNY206. This is the number one source for WWE news and rumors right here on YouTube.com. I'll see you guys for a Monday Night Raw review. Until then, take care, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Roman Reigns, go fuck yourself, man.